Number 29, we do have to um, find the area of the triangle with the given vertices. So let us, um, let us draw the triangle. So we begin at the point zero, zero. Um, let's see, this is one, two, three, one, two, three. So we are at the point zero, zero um, over here. And then we do have the point three, one. So one, two, three, one. That is our second point. And our third point is one, two, so one, two. Um, so what we have to do is we have to find the lines that connect these points so that we can use um, calculus to integrate it and find the area. So let, let us see. Um, So the area between these, um, these points is this triangle over here. Now, before we can integrate them, um, we do have to actually find the equations that define these lines. So let us find the yellow line. Um, so we are joining the point 0, 0, and we are joining the point 1, 2. And one, two. Now remember that a line is defined by y is equal to mx plus b, where m is equal to um, y two minus y one over x two minus x one. So we'll call we'll call this point over here. Uh, we'll call this one y two and this one y one. So when we plug it in, we do have y2, so 2 minus 0 over 1 minus 0, which is equal to 2. So our slope is equal to y is equal to 2x. Um, and now we just need the b, which is the y-intercept. So we can see that the, the y-intercept, it goes through the origin, 0, 0. So our y-intercept is just plus 0, right? So we have found uh, the yellow curve. And let us just write this equation next to it. This is y is equal to 2x. The y-intercept is just 0, so we don't need to write that. Um, now let's find the orange curve. The orange curve connects the points 0, 0 to the point um, 3, 1. 3, 1. And we'll call this our y2 and this our y1. So once more, we just need to find the slope. Um, m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which is equal to, let's see, 1 minus 0, y2 minus y1 over um, x2, so 3 minus 0. So m is equal to 1 third. Uh, so to complete the equation, y is equal to mx plus b, we found m, and we just need the b, which is the y-intercept. However, this line also goes through the origin, right? 0, 0. So the y-intercept is 0. Therefore, this equation is just described by y is equal to 1 third x. So this is y is equal to 1 third times x. So all we're missing now is finding the green curve. Um, and the green curve connects the points 1, 2, so 1, 2, and connects the points 3, 1. So we'll call this our y2, and we'll call this one our y1. So once more, m is equal to y2 over y1, so that is 1 minus 2 over x2 minus x1. So um, over 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1. So this gives us um, m is equal to negative 1 over 2. So it is a downward sloping line, uh, as we can see on the graph. Uh, now that we have this, we do need to find the y-intercept because this time it does not go through the origin. 
So let us set up our equation. Y is equal to minus 1 half X um, plus B. And we can choose any point to plug in for Y and X. Um, let us plug in the point. Let's see. We'll plug in the point 1, 1, 2. So 2, which is the value for Y, is equal to negative 1 half. Negative 1 half times 1, which is the value of X plus b. So when we bring this negative one half to the other side, we have two plus one half is equal to b, and therefore b is equal to um, five over two. So once we have our y-intercept, uh, we do have our slope, so we can write down this equation that this is equal to y is equal to minus one half x, and then plus five over two. Two, yeah. So um, let me just make this negative here super clear. So once we have this, we are ready to integrate. Um, actually, this looks pretty ugly. Let me rewrite this. Equal to minus one half x plus five over two. Yeah. Uh, now, before we integrate, we do need to notice that um, at this point over here, let me just draw a dashed line. The from on the left hand side, the yellow curve is the upper boundary and the orange curve is the lower boundary. And on the right hand side, the green curve is the upper boundary and the orange curve is the lower. So we do have to um, break this integral up into two different parts, right? So let's see. This is the let's do the first integral, which is the integral from zero um, all the way to x equals one, which is where that upper point lies. So the integral from 0 to 1 of the upper curve, so 2x minus the lower curve, minus 1 third x, and all of this times dx, and then um, plus the second integral. Now, the second integral goes from this point over here, so it goes from 1 all the way to this point over here, all the way to 3. Um, and the upper curve is the green curve, so we have minus half x plus five halves, and then minus the lower curve, which is once more one third x minus one third x, and then all of this times dx. So um, we can join these just to simplify it a little bit. So this is the integral uh, zero to one of 2x minus 1 third is 5 thirds x dx plus the integral from 1 to 3. Um, minus 1 half x minus 1 third x is minus 5 over 6x and then just plus 5 halves and all of this times dx. Okay, so we're ready to integrate by um, applying the reverse power rule. So for the first part, this is just 5 over 3 times x squared over 2 from 0 to 1, and then plus minus 5 over 6 x squared over 2 plus 5 over 2 x from 1 to 3. Um, so all we need to do now is just apply the boundaries. So when we plug 1 for x, we're going to have 5 thirds times 1 half, which is just 5 over 6. And then when we apply 0, this goes to 0, so we ignore it. Now let's do the other integral. So uh, this is minus 5 over 6 times 2 is 12 times, let's see, 3 squared times 3 squared. Um, and then plus 5 over 2 times 3. Now minus, minus 5 over 12, because when we plug in 1, that just becomes 1. So plus 5 over 12, and then minus 5 over 2, because 1 times 5 over 2 is just 5 over 2. So let's just um, join all of these. So let's see. We have here 5 over 6 minus, um, that is 5 times 9, so that is 45 over 12, and then plus 15 over, oops, that should be a, let's see, 
No, that is right. Plus 15 divided by 2, um, plus 5 divided by 12, and then minus 5 over 2. So this should give us, let's see, this is 5 halves. Now, this is the area um, of this triangle. So all we did was we plotted the points, uh, found the equations of the lines that join them, and then integrated it by dividing the triangle into two parts, which gives us um, 5 over 2 as the area of the triangle.